It's interesting that since uh, July of 2014 that you and I have been under surveillance, isn't it? Yeah, that's true. And I just want to go over this for anyone who's listening, especially the man who's been doing it. Around July 1st, I had noticed that I was getting all bumps over my body. I was getting burns, and I couldn't figure out where it was coming from. And you and I went to Chinatown. We went to see a, uh, a Chinese doctor. And the interesting thing the Chinese doctor said to me is that I've got radiation burns all over my body. Is that not correct? Yes, that's correct. And the woman, was she looked at me like as if I was going to die or something. And the man doctor had asked me, do I work in a nuclear facility? I said, no. Yeah, yeah right. I, I told him I didn't. So now I turned around to you and I asked you, I says, how could I get these burns, nuclear radiation burns, if I don't even work near any these facilities? I don't use any electronic devices, which was, to me was very perplexing. Yeah, and I says, I've never seen anything like this before in my life. I, I, I even looked at my hands, I had on my, on my fingers, I had burns, you know, like little dots on my hand. I, I got burned on the left and the right side of my temple. I got burned on my forehead. I got burned on the side of my face. I got burned on the side of my 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 uh, my right leg. I had burned on my feet, and then on the left side on my buttocks, I also had a big burn. And I'm saying, wait a minute, where is this coming from? And then not only that, one night. I, I, I jumped up uh, in a sitting position from my bed because I, I, I got like as if it was electrocuted and it was the cable box. I said, this can't, can't be, you know? And then I let it go. And then what happens is about two, three weeks later, the same thing happened. I got hit with, with some kind of a uh, 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 shot or something that was coming through the cable box. I said, you know what? I'm not having this cable box anymore. And that's the reason why I got rid, rid, rid of my cable box. So I don't look at TV. I don't listen to radio or none of that. Because not only did it interfere in the cable box, it's also in the walls. And um, you, you put something on and all of a sudden it changes from one station to another or if you put, uh, say, a, a, a stereo on or some music, all of a sudden it um, it stops, and then all, all of a sudden my uh, my two little um, um, little recorders where I play music they malfunction. They don't function anymore. And I says this is weird. I have never seen anything like this in my life. Well, you know, when you brought to my attention about watching TV, sitting up in bed and getting jolted in the head, I was watching a, a soccer game. And as I was watching the game, I was sitting uh, pretty close to the TV set. And I got hit between the eyes with this electromagnetic frequency ray, and it jolted me. I mean, it jolted me to the point where I just shut off the TV and I left the room completely, and I had a tremendous headache for about two days. And then I thought about it. This can't be. What's coming out of the box? Then began getting hit viruses to the computer, someone trying to control my computer, my passwords being uh, corrupted. And I said to myself, I says, how can this be? And, and furthermore, who would do something like this? Who would stoop to the level to try to hurt me? And I couldn't figure out like how anyone could have the presence of mind to do this in a premeditated manner. It was hard to compute. I said to you, if you remember, I've got to figure out how this is being done. Yeah. And I had never gotten electronic um, frequency, magnetic frequency wave. Um, sent to me. I didn't even know what that was. What is that? I, I couldn't imagine why would anybody be doing anything. Even my phone was malfunctioning. I would make a call. The call would be disconnected or phone would get jammed. Or you have clicking on or your you, phone. I hear clicking on the phone or I hear a third party on the phone. I said, 
what is all this? What is wrong? You know, who, now, who you, is doing this for what? Now, you remember around that time I said to you I was going to, mm -hmm. I went on the internet. I didn't know about electronic surveillance. I didn't know about hacking, bugging. I really was naive to the fact that there were people paid to do things like this. So I went and read up on it, and I saw that I can get electromagnetic frequency detector to try to pick up where these rays or signals were coming from. Because what I was reading was that it was Wi-Fi based in nature. And I said, gee, well, am I using Wi-Fi? The answer was yes. Okay, so I'm figuring, well, before I eliminate the Wi-Fi, because all these new handheld devices were Wi-Fi, I've got to determine if that's the source of these emissions coming in here and trying to harm either one of us. So I got this little device, and lo and behold, it started giving us signals around the apartment that there was a tremendous amount of EMF rays coming into the apartment. And then I decided, okay, let's turn off the boxes, and then we'll turn them on. And then I'll start looking outside, because we're on the a higher floor in the building we're in with a balcony where you could see you could actually see uh, anybody outside for that matter who might be doing something and lo and behold there was a man on the balcony across the street holding a handheld device in the direction of our window but after two or three days of taking the wire out of the box and putting it in like a jack-in-the-box every time I put the wire in the man would mysteriously appear, whether I did it at 10 o'clock in the morning, 10 o'clock at night, or 2 o'clock in the morning. And then it was pretty obvious at that point, and I guess you could agree with me, yeah. that somebody across the street was trying to hurt, you know, uh, you and I. Would that not be correct? That's correct. And I was, I was surprised. I was shocked. Why would that man be doing that? I had no idea as to the purpose and the reason why somebody would want to do that and, and hit me with EMF waves. Why? What for? Your computers, you, you're on Wi-Fi. I mean, did you yeah. not have to go to Apple? To, to you know, I had to go many times to Apple. I don't know what was wrong with my computer. If I turned it on, you know, and I see just minor things like little pictures of angels and flowers and, and nature and, you know, minor things. I, I don't even go into uh, in depth in the computer at all, like saying going to the internet and go looking at this and looking at that. No, what I see are minor things, you know, I said, why would they want to tamper with my Apple computer? I said, and I had to go a couple of times over there, then I got to the point, I really don't want the computer, the Apple computer no more, because it seems like every time I put it on, something is wrong. So now, at the time, if I recall, I went and got a uh, an Apple little box for Wi-Fi to hide the signal to get... A long password and I had passwords up to 30 digits and after three days the problem reoccurred like as if somebody was able to crack into any password within three days so then I decided okay if I'm gonna use Wi-Fi if I have to I'll change it every day and still I had problems realizing you know what maybe I'm not a good candidate for Wi-Fi so I apologize to you did I not about you know, yeah. uh, talking you into uh, using the Wi-Fi because your girlfriend yeah. said to you you needed to get a, a handheld Apple device. Yeah. And unbeknownst to me at the time, I didn't know if it was a good or bad idea, but your girlfriend uh, recommended us as well, you know, try it. I'm a firm believer in laptops and being hardwired. And now I fully understand why, because if I'm hardwired, I'm not on Wi-Fi and Wi-Fi is Spy-Fi. And then we both come to learn that we can't even get a Bluetooth device to listen mm -hmm. to uh to speakers on, on a computer because the Bluetooth is being used against you with your computer because there's no password on it and the range of a Bluetooth is probably about a hundred yards but on the box what did it say 30 yards yeah 30 yards so who's kidding who <laughs> and on the Wi-Fi they're saying it's like 30 or 40 yards I would love Again. to be I would love to be on Wi-Fi I would love to be on the internet but I can't I can't be on the internet I can't be on Wi-Fi or none of that because they tamper, whoever it is tampers with the whole system. Now, what about so what about your clocks? I mean, that. let's talk about the clocks. What? I mean, uh, you were going on a vacation, were you not? And yeah. someone uh, mm -hmm. set the clocks back. Yep, the clock was set back. And, and what did it cause? What did it cause to happen? It caused me to miss my flight, and I couldn't believe it. You know, and I was ready to take my flight because I was going to see my elderly father, and I had to go and get another ticket. And how much did it cost you to replace oh, that ticket? The, the, that ticket cost me about $900. So what you're telling me is this individual turned back the alarm clock, you didn't get up in time, the flight mm -hmm. already left, now you had to reschedule another flight and you were penalized 
nine hundred dollars yep. for that flight. I went to see my father, but I was very upset because you know I had made arrangement for my cousin to pick me up to to take me to my father's home. And my father's elderly. My father is in the mid nineties, you know. And I says I have to go see my father, and um, and I really missed the flight, and I was very very upset. Because he was waiting for me. Now I gotta ask you: Did you have any any unusual occurrences at the airport that you can recall with, with oh, devices? Oh yes, yes. Um, when we got at the airport, um, I had my uh, my laptop, and for some reason you mean your your iPod? My iPod. I mean, I'm sorry, my iPod. And somebody was trying to to mess with it also. Now, how do you know that? Did you see the person there? Or? Yeah, there was there, there was some woman, you know, and she was trying to get into it as I was getting into my iPod, you know, and uh, I says, I can't believe this, even in the airport. There it was, that one split second that you turned on the Wi-Fi, there was somebody sitting behind you right. trying to get access to your, your device. My device. My computers are getting crashed. I have my motherboard. I'm losing my motherboards all because of somebody trying to stop people from going on the internet i just for the life of me i can't figure out as to why anybody would would do something like that. especially the man that we're talking about who was actually doing it which we figured out and now this was so we're talking back uh in december a year ago and then in july is when we figured out that it was him so here it is it's uh, over nine ten months that we we've, we've discovered this but he's been doing this uh, well okay. over a year, six months, undetected for at least eight months. But now the last nine months, he's been detected. And still that we know what he's doing, he still continues to do it. So much to the point where we realize that they must pay this man a great deal of money to do what he's doing. Because he's got no conscience whatsoever, knowing that we know and still blatantly would come out on the balcony every day morning noon or night to try to continue to send out these harmful emf rays would you not agree yes if yes. there was a message that you could give him right now what would it be well i would say to this individual i mean i have no animosity towards him and i'm not really angry at him at all and i forgive him for any harm that he has done to me because i do know that he had hit me with radiation. I don't know why, because I don't know him, and I don't know the reasons why he does that. And I forgive him, and I would say as a human being, I would love, I love him as a human being, as any other human being. And I would never in my life ever hurt him, or anyone, because it's not my nature. That's not me. Actually, stop doing that, because he continues, continuously is doing that and that is wrong wrong um what it affects your body because every time you get hit with that radiation you get hit in a different place i mean i got my hands and i i've gotten hit in, he's hit in my hands like maybe about 15 times or more and my hands is full of red spots you can see those dots, like when somebody's pointing a point at you and it's got radiation, it looks like the form of a fork, you know, and they just, they just send it, and you see it in your hands. And that is wrong. You see it on my face, see it on the side of my cheek, on my head, on, on, on my body in the back, on my leg. That is wrong. Well, That is really wrong. I've been fortunate to have discovered this because of the EMF uh, detector that, that I purchased. And luckily, I went to a Chinese doctor rather than an American doctor who was able to diagnose it and give me something to heal these wounds. And uh, they looked pretty bad at the time. Now, thank God they've gone away. Thank God that I know. I even had to put aluminum foil around the windows to stop the, uh, the penetration of these rays coming through the window once I knew where it was coming from. One of the things that I have to say is that once I discovered this, I pretty much confronted him outside and said, why are you doing this? He said, I'm making a big mistake. I says, no, Mr. Meisler, you're making a big mistake. Because I knew what his name was because I had to go across the street to find out who he was. I said, it's wrong what you're doing. And I said on the balcony one day that if he persists, I'm going to put him out on the Internet for everybody to see. And I'm not going to take it down until either he leaves or he apologizes. So this has now been since July. And we're going over nine months now. And he's still up on the Internet 
And I've got a number of different places that he's on YouTube, and now he's my mascot for some of my websites. Now, I'm not a vindictive person, but I wholeheartedly believe that if the police can't help you, if you go to them and they say there's nothing they can do, they don't, they don't know how to deal with cybercrime, that we, as American citizens, have to take up our own defenses if need be and protect ourselves from someone who's trying to, to send bodily harm or even death to us. So I decided to take it in my own hands in the only way that I could and to put him out there for the world to see. And yet, he still persists. Uh, Mr. Meiskus, I'll say to you now here, I am not your enemy. Never have, never will be. Nothing that I've done to you hasn't been warranted. And nothing I've done to you is because I had premeditated thoughts to do it. You are guilty of heinous crimes. These crimes, though you've gone unpunished, God sees all. And whether you believe it or not, you will be judged for what you do. And these things that you've done are not very, very pleasant. They're not, they hurt, they hurt. If we put the shoe on the other foot, how would you feel if you were hit with a bat? That's the feeling that I have when you hit me with these EMF rays. Or the burning sensation that I feel in my head, my ears. It's not right what you're doing. It's time that you stop and you pick up another line of work but this is not for your highest good I can tell you that I don't hate you I don't even dislike you I like you I like you to be somewhere else I love you why do I love you because obviously you haven't been loved in your whole life because for you to do this to two people who have nothing but love for all human beings including you should take a page out of our books and start to love yourself so that way you'd be able to love someone else. Because right now, people you work for, they don't even know your first name, nor do they care to know it. While they're holidaying or while they're sleeping in their beds at night, you're out on a balcony at 1 o'clock in the morning, 2 o'clock in the morning, trying to hit us with EMF rays or trying to hack into a computer. They don't care about you, Meisklis. They really don't. They want to see you get a job done for them. Obviously, now you've been here over a year. You know that I'm not an enemy of the state. You know that I'm a researcher, and I speak my mind, and I pretty much tell the truth. If people don't like what I say, don't listen to it. I don't ask them to pay for my recordings. I don't ask them to follow my fan page. I don't even ask them to leave comments for me. I don't go out and protest. I belong to no groups whatsoever. I have no opinion on anything that happens in this country. I really would like to be left alone, Mr. Meisklis. It's time that you recognize the fact that you're being paid a lot of money to do nothing. I will continue to do nothing. And at some point, you'll realize that you have done nothing with your life in the last year and a half and could have been with someone or been somewhere and been productive and enjoying your life. You're not going to get back this last year and a half in your life. You're not going to get it back. But you can get back your present so that way you can have a better future. Would you not agree? Yes, I agree. Like I said before, I, I, I'm not angry at this person. I don't hate them because it's not in, in my heart. Um, it's difficult for me to hate anyone. On the contrary, I forgive him. And the only thing is that I hope that he will stop doing that to me because all he does is send EMF waves, magnetic waves to me. And sometimes you hear that sounding in the ears because with a high pitch. And especially when you're in bed sleeping, you know what I mean? He comes and hits you with that. No, that is wrong. That is thoroughly wrong. I, I can't even look at TV. I don't look at television. I don't have cable. I can't go in the internet. I can't use Wi-Fi. I don't use Bluetooth. Neither of that. Because the minute I get in, it gets tampered with. I don't know why. Because I'm not, I'm, I'm not a professional in computers. Yes, I learned the computer because I read how to use the computer. But I'm not there on the computer seven days a week. Once in a blue moon, I get on the computer. Uh, listen to the waves that they have these. Uh, they, they they have these uh, movies where they show the waves and scenery and all of that. There's nothing wrong in that. 
I, I don't even email my friends. You know, I don't mind going to my email. I don't mind using Wi-Fi or, or Bluetooth or internet and, and do searching for little things that I need to see, you know, even eBay. I don't go into none of that. I don't go into Amazon because of that reason, because they go and get tampered with the computer. Basically, your handheld devices are used strictly offline, offline. For, for whatever applications yeah. that you can use. I don't I hardly ever put it on the radio, and if I do put it on the radio, it's to see what the weather is. I'm entitled to know what the weather is outside, what the latest news is. You're exactly right. I, I hear news from other people. Oh, really? I didn't know that. Look at me. Is something wrong with you? No, but I can't tell them because there's some man out there that, that sent an EMF wave, and I don't want that on me. You what, know? what do you think would happen if you told people what this man was doing? You think they'd no, believe they, you? No, they, they think you're wacko. There's something wrong with you because they don't, they don't realize it until it happens to them. And most likely, I am not the only one, nor are you. There are many other people that probably do, he's probably doing the same thing too. But they don't realize what it's coming from. I think unless you bought an electromagnetic frequency detector like I have, I don't think anybody would suspect what this man is capable of doing. And he's pretty darn good at it, I must say, and he's been doing it a long time. And he's gone undetected for probably many, many years. Probably taken out quite a bit of people uh, in his uh, career, I, I would have to call him the Terminator. Would you not agree? Yeah, a Terminator. And he doesn't put his hands on them. He just sends them EMF, EMF frequency waves. That's well, right it. now, you know, I'd like to wrap this up because we've been talking. That's talk radiation. We've been talking for a while. So going forward, uh, what do you want to see happen with this? Well, I just hope that if he hears this, that he would just stop really stop because it is wrong no one is doing absolutely any harm to him at all i don't even know him personally all i know i've seen him and i think he would just to stop from doing this well if you look at the um, the solution let's look at solutions right now the solution that i see is okay no television no internet no cable, no electronics whatsoever that's Wi-Fi or uh, Bluetooth based whatsoever. And if no electronics are used in this household, he pretty much is out of business. Would you, wouldn't you agree? Yeah, because nothing is used. <laughs> so It's there, but you can't even use it. If you were a boss employing someone and they were working for you to do the heinous crimes that this man was doing... And the person, the perpetrators that he was out doing this to didn't have any electronics whatsoever. And his business was based only on electronics. You'd have to give him his pink slip. Yeah. So if there's nothing for him to latch on to, no Wi-Fi whatsoever or Internet or electricity somehow, some way, then there'll be no need for him to be here anymore. Would you not agree? I agree. So I think it's important right now that the, Mr. Meisler knows that since we know what he's doing, we know how he's doing it, and we can predict when he's going to do it, and we can view him when he's trying to do it, then the only recourse for us to do is pull the plug on all electronics and take every one of his toys away. Right. So right now, Mr. Meisler, if you're listening, we've taken your toys away. We know what you're doing. We don't hate you. We still love you, believe it or not. You're a very brilliant man in electronics, in the field of engineering, and you could probably help a lot more people by being positive than being negative and make quite a deal, a greater amount of money by doing the right thing. But for whatever the reason, you got sidetracked. But you know what? It's not too late to change your profession and go the other way. It's not too late. But it will be too late the longer you stay here because more and more people are going to see you on the Internet. And I will make sure that if you stay here that you will become very, very well known. You may even get famous. So start practicing whatever you do for another endeavor because if you stay here, it's not going to be good the rest of the way for you. I guarantee you. And the people that you work for will not employ you anywhere 
because you'll be known all over the world unless you shave off that beard, get rid of that black motif that you wear, and stop hanging around with the Hasidics, you will be a leper and unemployable. That is right, because uh, it gets to the point, they say, here comes the Terminator. So everybody's going to know your name like the bar cheers. They're going to know, they're going to see you coming. So in closing, Maestlis, please know that we have nothing against you. We've got nothing for you, nothing but love for you, brother. You're my brother, whether you realize it or not. We're connected. And because we're connected, I can't get down to the level that you've gotten down to, unfortunately. But my door is always open to you. And you know the phone number. You know where I am. It's very easy for you to meet me and talk to me. I'm, an, I'm very approachable. And I'm a very agreeable individual. And... We can go from there. But as of right now, you're on the internet for life. All your stuff is out there. And there's one way to get it down, and that's to act civil, treat me humanely the way I treat you, and then we can move on, and then you can have a life, I can have a life, and everything is well, and all is forgiven. Bygones will be bygones. Me, I forgive him, and I have no mercy towards him, and... Um and I, I'm, I'm sorry that um, that he's gotten to this point that this is what he, he he select to do in his life to you know send those EMF waves to different people and that only uh, produces cancer in the person's body and it's really wrong but I forgive him and I do hope that he'll stop doing that to me because I don't do anything to him and I don't do anything to anyone I'm just a simple poor girl trying to live the best way I can the, the couple of years that I have left in my life and um, and like I say I love you much Chris, and I hope that you will stop doing this well, well, well I want to thank you very much for taking this time with me to uh, to have this conversation and my in closing I would just like to say to you think about what we said and realize that we're not your enemies, and the people that you work for are really the ones that have set you up and set you up for a major fall. And the only way you can go back right now is if you apologize, so that way you can get your life back. And uh, I have no problem, you know, taking down any photos that I have or anything I've got on the internet that's got you tagged, and you to realize that it's only there for my protection. I wouldn't have done any of that if you weren't trying to put me into a pine box. And I refuse to allow you to to do that. And so I am in, you know, my boundaries. My boundaries as a free sovereign being say to me that I must do everything to stop you from trying to harm me and, and to, to put an end to my life. So I'd like for your life to begin because your life needs to begin now. And the only way it can begin is if you close the door on these negative ways that you've, uh, you've attached yourself to. Because money burns in the fire, Mr. Meisless. All that you've acquired from this, you'll get no benefit from it. There's no benefit from hurting people. There really is. You may get satisfaction, but there is no benefit from what you're doing. So think about it. And uh, in closing, Meisless, do the right thing.